everybody, this is Gat Sat for the Sat Truth. Some of you who follow my uh, work on a regular basis know that I have commented on the poisonous nature of the victimology ethos across many different settings, one of which uh, relates to the driving force behind uh, social justice warriors. I argue that it is a form of collective Munchausen, right? And so this, this, this is a form of uh, victimology ethos on steroid. Uh, where you pretty much define your identity as a function of some uh, fictitious uh, victimology narrative. Now, of course, the people who uh, adhere to this type of uh, mindset are typically those who also believe that to the extent that people end up with different final outcomes, it can't be due to the fact that there might be inherent differences across people in terms of their talents, their abilities, their motives, their ambitions, their drives, but rather it must be due to some institutionalized uh, injustice or to some uh, narrative of victimology, right? It must be that you suffer from some disorder and that's what led you to not perform as well as Lionel Messi when he plays for Barcelona and for Argentina. Uh, of course, there are reasons for this type of cancerous mindset, uh, one of which is the blank slate premise, right? If you believe that everybody is born uh, with a blank slate with equal potentiality that is only then altered uh, as a function of uh, deferring socialization, uh, deferring uh, life paths, uh, then you seek to identify those nefarious forces that stopped you from becoming the rightful NBA superstar that you should have otherwise been. Maybe mommy didn't hug you enough. Maybe it was that Big Mac that you had that uh, was uh, had some spoiled meat in it. Maybe daddy wasn't supportive enough. Uh, who knows? There might be all sorts of socialization reasons that didn't lead to you being the rightful uh, heir to Michael Jordan. Uh, and so earlier today, I uh, posted some uh, thoughts on my social portals regarding this general issue, which I thought I would read uh, here for you. So here we go. I truly worry about the current zeitgeist wherein every metric that is merit-based is under constant attack. Are you a student with a low GPA? Don't worry. Perhaps you suffer from evaluative academic exercise anxiety disorder? This might be at the root of your poor academic performance. Are you a professor who, produce, who has produced next to nothing in terms of scholarly output? Don't worry. Perhaps you suffer from disdain for producing scientific works as this is a form of ableism disorder. Every possible reality that might yield differences of outcomes across people should apparently never be construed as a result of natural variations in people's abilities, drives, motives, and ambitions. Instead, it must be due to an injustice levied against you and or because of a quote disorder that did not allow you to maximally flourish. The ethos of victimology is an affront to all that is fair and just. It pathologizes a trivially obvious reality, namely that people vary in abilities and ambition. Remember, if you fail, it's always someone else's fault. I'll be sure to add this angle in my forthcoming book as one of many forces that is slowly but perhaps irrevocably damaging our culture. Have a good day, everybody.